Imagine your Salesforce org is a multi-layered vault. Today, we will explore how to secure each layer starting with objects and fields. Welcome everyone. In this session, we will dive into providing data access in Salesforce at object level and field level. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. Remember, a secure organization starts with precise access control. So let's focus on controlling access at objects and field level. Now for the object level and the field level access, we can take help of profile and permission sets. With the help of profiles and permission sets, we can actually mention what sort of access this specific profile and permission set is having on the object level and also on the different fields of that specific object. Other than the objects and fields, you can provide some more accessibility using profiles and permission sets, which we will see in today's session. Also make sure that we cannot edit object permissions on a standard profile. So if you are having a standard profile over there, you cannot do that. You cannot edit the object permission inside a standard profile. So instead of that, what you need to do, you have to clone it and then you have to modify it. So I want to share a tip over here, always clone standard profile to create customized profiles that actually fits your security needs. Users can have only one profile, but they can have multiple permission sets. So whenever you are creating a user, you have to associate the user with a license, a user license. And according to the user license, you have to provide a profile to the user. So one user can hold at max only one profile, but the same user can hold multiple permission sets. So permission sets are basically provided to gradually increase the accessibility to the user. Now let me quickly show you practically how you are going to do these things on the profile and the permission set. So right now here we are in our org. So let's quickly go to the setup by clicking on the gear icon and clicking on setup. And in the quick find you can type in profile, click on profiles. And here you can see all the available profiles of your org. There are alphabets given on the right side. You can click on alphabet and filter down according to the alphabets. Or you can click on all to see all the profiles in your org. To edit the settings of a specific profile, you have to click on the profile name. And then from this screen, you can certainly edit the profile settings, whatsoever you want to provide. Among all the settings for object and field level settings, you have to go to object settings option. And from here, you have to select that specific object and then you can customize the settings accordingly. But because I'm using a standard profile, if I go to any specific object, for example, accounts, and if I click on edit, even then I would not be able to change this object permissions over here. Though I can certainly make changes in the field permissions, but these object permissions cannot be changed. So in those situations, what you should do, you should come to profiles Instead of editing this profile, click on clone and provide a new profile name to it. So all the settings that is already given to this existing profile will automatically copy to this new customized profile and you can provide settings to this newly customized profile as well. So let me quickly give a name to this profile. I'm giving it as custom analytics cloud integration user and clicking on save. And now in this profile, if I go to object settings, click on accounts, click on edit. And here you can see I can change the object level permissions for this specific profile. That's what I was talking about. Standard profiles cannot be customized. So better to clone a standard profile, create your own custom profile from it and customize it accordingly. The same thing you can do in permission set as well. All that you need to do here is type permission on the quick find, click on permission sets and here are the list of permission sets available for you. You can create your own profiles and permission sets as well. Both profile page and permission set page is having a new option. You can click on it and create a new permission set or a new profile. The same button will be available on profiles as well. Let me quickly show you that. So here you can see I have a new profile button and I can click and create a new profile as well. Now I remember in my early days, I once tried to customize a standard profile and tried to change those object settings over there. And it didn't took me a lot of time to realize that I cannot modify the standard profile. 
and then i realized that i have to create a custom profile always if i want to customize those settings according to my choice have you ever had to clone a profile in salesforce do share your experiences in the comment this setting is nothing but another layer of armor in your salesforce org profiles actually profiles determines the base level of access and permission for any user as i told you with the user license you provide it so definitely it decides the base level permission it is assigned as soon as user is created it defines the object level access that means the crude access you might will hear this term a lot of time this crude means create read update and delete it also controls access to apps tabs page layouts record types and many more any profile assigned to a user cannot be removed so a user should always have one profile assigned to him permission sets now as i told you it extends the access and permission beyond the base level permission assigned to the user it is used to grant additional permissions without changing the user profile multiple permission sets can be assigned to the same user allowing him a greater flexibility of work it is basically ideal in situation where you want to assign permission related to specific tasks apps or so on and so forth and it is ideal for situation where small subset of user need some extra permission to do some extra stuff so my tip over here will be always use permission sets to grant additional permission to your user now i remember a scenario in one of the project we want to grant permission for some specific objects to a specific user now these permissions are to be granted for temporary basis and we want to revoke it later on and we want this facility to be carry forward like in future we want new users or profiles to get this permission for a temporary basis and then on we want to revoke it back that time we take help of permission set only we created a permission set and then we assign that permission set to those specific profiles with an expiry date and after that expiry date that permission set is automatically revoked from that user so let's quickly see how you are going to use permission set and provide object level and field level access and then assign that permission set to a specific user so let's see how we are going to use object setting option in profiles and permission sets so what i'm doing here is i'm choosing a specific profile so i'm clicking on s choosing standard user and in fact cloning it and naming it as custom standard user clicking on save now among all the options that is available over here click on object settings option now i want to point over here is in any case if the user interface of your profile is not exactly same as it is shown on my screen then don't worry i will tell you how to attain this user interface and that is something i will mention in few minutes but in this user interface you will have an option of object settings in the object settings you can click on that specific object to which you want to change the accessibility for example accounts now on this page you will have different options that you can make changes to i will use only two of them which is object permissions and field permissions i will click on edit now in the object permissions these are the different permissions that i can provide read create edit delete view all and modify all now read create edit delete is very simple if your profile is having these permissions you can easily read create edit or delete the record of that specific object but view all and modify all are very powerful permissions if you have given view all and modify all permission to any specific profile then that profile can view and modify all the records when i'm saying all the records i mean even those records which that profile doesn't even own that means if i have created any record and any profile is having view all or modify all permission that profile can modify and view my record as well so before you are providing view all and modify all to any specific profile make sure that these are very crucial access other than these object permissions you can also provide field permissions there are two types of permissions which you can provide on fields which are read access and edit access of course if you will provide edit access to any specific field automatically that field will get the read access for it there are few fields which are required fields or which may be formula fields so you cannot change permissions for those fields they will get their permissions by default once you are done click on save once a profile is created you can certainly assign it to any user to assign it to a user you can come to profile overview part click on profile overview and here you will have an option of assigned users by clicking on it you can see what are the different users who have been assigned to this profile 
and you can assign new users as well. So if I'm clicking on new user, it is giving me option to create a new user with that specific profile. But unfortunately, standard user profile needs Salesforce license and I don't have any Salesforce license right now available for me. For permission sets, click on quick find, type in permission, click on permission sets. And from here, you can create a new permission and you can edit other permissions as well. I will always recommend you to create your own custom permission rather than modifying standard permission sets. So I'm creating a custom permission set over here as standard user permission set. You can provide a description. Optionally, you can choose a license as well. Otherwise, you can click on save. Once a permission set is created, certainly you can go to object settings and in the similar way, you can provide the object access and field access. Once you are done, you can assign this permission set to any user. To assign it to any user, just click on manage assignments. From here, click on add assignment. Choose the specific user to whom you want to assign this permission set. Click on next. If you want to add any expiry date, choose specify the expiry date. You can choose one day, one week, 30 days, 60 days or any specific custom date. If you don't want to get it expired, click on no expiration date and click on assign. If the user license will allow this permission set to get assigned, definitely it will get assigned to that user. And as I told you, you can assign multiple permission sets. You can assign a permission set from the users page as well. So go to users, click on any specific user and from here click on edit and you can change the profile of that specific user. For example, if I want to make it as custom to standard user and save, well, I'm making it system administrator back again. From where you can click on edit assignment and assign any permission set. But right now this user is inactive. So let me first activate him. So active, save. And now I can go to permission set, click on edit assignments and choose any permission sets that I want to assign. I can select multiple ones, make it in the enable permission set section and click on save. Now, how have permission sets helped you managing users in Salesforce? Don't forget to share your experience in the comment. Every setting that we have discussed provides a fortress-like security to our Salesforce org. Enhanced profile user interface. So basically, whenever we are working on profiles, there is a specific user interface that we get by default. But I prefer to work on enhanced profile user interface. The enhanced profile user interface is a more user-friendly interface for managing user profiles. The key settings are organized in different sections, so it's quick to find any specific setting and move over there. There are certain features like we have a tabbed layout. It's easier to search and filter permissions. You can perform bulk edit, so you can give multiple permissions at the same time. You can clone profiles very easily. Real-time updates are available over there. Granually, you can control user access. And if I talk about the benefits, the usability has been improved. Earlier, it seems to be very complex. Now it seems to be very simple. And it also increased the efficiency in the administrative tasks. Now, it's definitely not practically possible to prove each and everything to you. I will show you the legacy profile user interface and the enhanced profile user interface. You yourself can decide and go ahead with it. And also I will show you how you can enable or disable the enhanced profile user interface. So let's quickly go to the org. So when you are on your org, you see profiles in two different interfaces. The one that I have shown you was actually the enhanced profile user interface. Now to enable or disable it, you have to go to user management settings. So type in user manage, click on user management settings, scroll down and here you will have an option of enhanced profile user interface. If it is disabled, you can enable it. Or if you want to disable it and it is already enabled, just toggle the button. So right now, profile enhanced profile user interface is disabled. So if I go to profile and if I click on any specific profile, I will see the legacy interface. So right now, if I click on any specific profile, now this is the legacy interface. Here you can see all the page layouts together of all the objects then all the field level security of all the objects, then custom app settings, then for all the custom apps, but of course, then service provider access, then all the tab settings together, then all the record types. So what they did was they kept different settings in the different category. And in that setting, they show all the objects. Now, if you go to the enhanced profile, you will see objects, and then when you will click on that specific object, you will find all the settings at one place. So that's why I prefer enhanced profile interface. Now to enable it, all that you need to do is to go to user management settings and enable enhanced 
profile user interface so it's up to you i leave it up to you whichsoever you like you can choose and don't forget to mention in the comment which profile interface you like type in enhance if you like enhanced one type in legacy if you like legacy one now i do remember initially it was very difficult for me to managing profiles or different settings in a specific profile when we were working on legacy interface and when salesforce introduced enhanced profile interface i really loved it security is a continuous journey our next stop is object settings and permissions now object settings is used to define what actions user can take on that specific object it controls the object level access and also decides or dictates level of interaction user will have with the data of that specific object so in object permissions we provide the crude permission that you you have seen over there which is create view edit or delete other than that we can also provide view all and modify all which are powerful permissions allowing user to view or modify all records within an object regardless of ownership we have field level securities where we provide field access like read and edit read only fields ensure that those fields are not editable by that specific profile other than that we can also set record types and page layouts though we haven't discussed about record types and page layouts yet so definitely it would not make any sense right now but you can decide which specific record types this specific profile can see what will be the default record type for this specific profile and which page layout will be used for this profile while this profile is using that specific record type so definitely there are a lot of stuff related to record types and page layouts and plenty of them is not making any sense right now but when we are going to discuss about them all of them will be clear for you by understanding and implementing these security settings you can ensure that your salesforce org remains protected from any potential threats remember security is an ongoing process and being vigilant is the key that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care